Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I am decluttering some more of my makeup collection. I'm going to go through my single eyeshadows, my pigments, my cream shadows, and my eyeliners today. I feel like I've been making great progress decluttering my collection. I do have a large makeup collection and I'm a YouTuber, I'm a beauty blogger, I have a beauty Instagram, so I do have a lot more makeup than the average person and I do feel very emotionally attached to some of it. I know that might sound stupid. It is hard for me to get rid of things. So thanks for joining me on my decluttering journey and let's get into the declutter. I thought we would start off with my eyeliners and there's also some jumbo eye pencils and cream shadows in here but I have way too many of these. I rarely use them at all. If you've watched any of my tutorials or get ready with me type videos, I very rarely use eyeliner. I cannot justify having all of these. So let's declutter them. It was a bit of a struggle, but that's everything. I have it sort of sorted out. These are liquid liners and one glitter one from NYX. And then I have cream shadows, jumbo eye pencils, and then all the eyeliners are sorted by color. So black, purple, blue, brown, and nude. And I know I can definitely get rid of some of these. So let's start with the black eyeliners. I have one from Urban Decay, one from Too Faced, and one from NYX. The Too Faced and the Urban Decay are very similar. They're both kind of good smudgy deep black liners. Um, the NYX one definitely is my favorite because it stays in my waterline. So I'll keep this and then I think I can um, just keep one of these. This Urban Decay pencil is pretty old. It's probably like three years old, so I think I should get rid of this one and I will keep the Too Faced liner. Now let's move on to my plum liners. I have Besto from ColourPop, I have this one from Red Earth that Shawana sent me, and I have Rockstar from Urban Decay. Now this one is from that same Urban Decay set, so I should probably get rid of all three that came in this set, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I love this ColourPop liner. I've been using it a ton, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. I like this one okay, but it is the like sharpening pencil kind, and this does tend to tug on my eye a little bit, so I think I'm also going to pass this one on. Now we are into the blues. Um, I have the same issue with this tart one. It's one of those wooden pencils and just really kind of uncomfortable on the eyelids so I'm gonna get rid of this one. The last three here are all drugstore pencils. This one's from NYX, Jordana, and this is a L'Oreal one. I was really excited to try this L'Oreal one just because I thought it looked so pretty and it swatched really smoothly on the back of my hand but it just dripped out of my waterline in two seconds flat. It ended up looking so messy and I was really disappointed. So I'm gonna get rid of this L'Oreal one and I'm gonna keep the NYX and Jordana liners. Okay, we're on to the brown ones. First of all, here's the last pencil from that Urban Decay set. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this just cause it's old. Now I have two MAC liners. These are very similar, but I don't care. I'm still going to keep them both. And lastly, we have an unopened Jordana eyeliner. So I'll keep this to try it. And this NYX retractable eyeliner pencil, which is my favorite eyeliner, drugstore not, so gotta keep this one. Now on to the nudes. This one from ColourPop is actually like a rose gold shade. This is called Get Paid. Love it, keeping it for sure. This inner rim liner from Tarte is the best nude eyeliner you will ever try in your life. So there's no way I'm letting go of this. I wish I had 10 backups because I love this stuff. And lastly, you may be surprised to see that I still have this. If you've heard me talk about this in the past, you know that I don't like this eyeliner. It stings my eyes. It's just not my favorite. But I continue to use it for when I do like creative swatches. I will use this to kind of 
draw out what I want my swatch shape to be. I'll try to insert a picture here to show you what I mean. Um, but I do get use out of this, I just don't actually use it on my eyes. Here we have my eye pencils. I have Milk from NYX and I have two from Trustique. These are uh, Marimoto Pink Pearl and Venetian Gold. And then this one from NARS, I forget what it's called, Scorpios I think. Um, these are all awesome pencils. I could never dream of letting go of these four, so these will be staying in my collection. Okay, now on to these like liquid doe foot applicator type eyeshadows. Um, to be completely honest, this Rimmel one I have never used. I don't think I've ever used it. I think I've used this Clinique one like maybe twice. And this Starlux one I just got in an Ipsy bag not too long ago. And I think I've used it maybe once. Um, I really liked it paired with my ColourPop shadow in Weenie. Just to make it even more bright and metallic. Um, honestly, I should probably just get rid of these two. Because they're sitting here unused and somebody else could use them. So I'm going to keep the rose gold one from Starlux and... I'm going to pass on these two. Lastly, I have these three black liquid liners and one glitter liner from NYX. I think I've only used this one once. Um, I got it as an alternative to the very famous Urban Decay glitter liners, and it was pretty good. So I'm gonna hang on to this. So these two are completely unopened. I have yet to try them. And this Lorac one is the best like felt tip liquid liner ever. I absolutely suck at doing winged liner and I can do it with this. So I love this. This is a great liquid liner. I will keep this until it dries up. I will probably buy another one. So definitely keeping that. And these two, I just haven't tried them yet so I don't really want to get rid of them without trying them. Who knows, maybe one of these will be able to replace my Lorac one. So I'm gonna keep both of these for now at least to test them out. So here is my drawer afterwards. I did decide to keep 20 items but I am decluttering these eight things and I know that for somebody who doesn't wear a lot of eyeliner this might seem still ridiculous but I feel really good about getting rid of these eight things. Um, the Urban Decay pencils are just really old. They're at least three years old, so they need to probably just be thrown away. But everything else is newer, and some of these things are barely used. So I will definitely pass them on to family and friends. Or I will donate them if they're in newish, unused, or like new condition. Then I will donate them. Alright, here we have my single eyeshadows and some pigments. This does not include my ColourPop single shadows, which I will be keeping all of them, so there's no point in pulling them out here. I love those, and I'm building my collection, so I know I'm not letting go of any of those. I really enjoy a lot of these, but I'm just not using all of them, so it's time to get rid of a few. Okay, let's start with these Bare Minerals Loose Shadows. I've had these for a while. They are really pretty, but I just find them to be a little bit messy and a little bit difficult to work with. So I've had these for a while, and they're just not getting a lot of use, so I'm going to pass these on. This is also a loose shadow. This is from Red Earth. My friend Shawana sent this to me. And it has the little stopper, so it's a lot less messy and a lot easier to work with. And it's just such a beautiful, everyday kind of color for me. I absolutely am keeping this one. These metallics shadows from Australis are some more that Shawana sent me. These are so pretty. I really, really like the foiled metallic look that these give, so I'm going to keep both of these. Let's talk about these little loose pigment shadows. I ordered these from an Etsy shop. I really like some of them. There are a couple that don't have a lot of color payoff, so I'm going to swatch a few of these and see which ones I want to get rid of. This one is called Dirty Smurf and I absolutely love this shade. It's kind of like a brown blue duochrome and it's so pretty so I don't even need to swatch this one. I know I'll keep it. This one's called Weather Vane and it's kind of like a 
red with blue glitter. It's another one that's unique in my collection and I really like this one so I'm gonna keep Weather Vane as well. Okay, after making a huge mess with these pigments, these are the swatches. This is Mongolian Dunes, um, what's this one called? Broken Wing, Beethoven, and Inner Peace. And I know for sure I'm gonna get rid of Broken Wing. It just doesn't show up very well. The other three are really pretty. These bottom two kind of have like a blue shift to them. And Mongolian Dunes is really, really pretty, but I think that I have other colors like it in my collection. So I think I'm going to keep these two and pass on Mongolian Dunes as well. Here's an Urban Decay shadow. This is called Scratch. Um, I got this in the Sephora Paint It Pink set. I haven't used it too much, but I do think it's really pretty. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one. It's my only Urban Decay single. I love my L'Oreal Infallible shadows so much. I can't imagine getting rid of any of them, but if I'm going to be really honest, this shade, Smoldering Plum, it's just really dark and I have a ColourPop shadow that's very similar. I'm going to swatch those side by side and see if they're similar enough that I don't need this one anymore. Okay, this is Smoldering Plum and this is Doe Adir from ColourPop. They are very similar. Smoldering Plum's a little bit more metallic, but I really don't need both of these. So I'm gonna get rid of Smoldering Plum and keep the ColourPop Doe Adir. And I know that it's probably pretty crazy, but I'm gonna keep all the rest of these L'Oreal Infallible shadows. I'm impressed that I even got rid of one because these are my all-time favorite drugstore eyeshadow. So I'm going to keep the rest of these, but I did get rid of one, so I'll consider that a win. These three are eyeshadows that my friend Shawana sent me in one of our swaps. Um, this one's from Chi Chi, these two are from Red Earth. Um, this Chi Chi one is like a baked dark brown. And it's a really nice shade. It's definitely the kind of shade that I love to use. The only problem is it's such a big compact compared to my other singles, um, but I really like it and I haven't used it too much, so I'm going to hang on to this one for now. These two little red earth shadows are so easy and like everyday wearable shades, and I just feel like I can't have too many of these in my collection, so I'm also going to keep both of these. I've been putting this part off to last because I really like all of these, but I know I'm not using them as much as I should, and I think it's probably time to get rid of some of these. So let's talk about the NYX ones first. These are the Prismatic Shadows. I really, really enjoy these. This is the shade Fireball. I mean, look at that. Like, really? This is Golden Peach. So gorgeous, so beautifully pigmented, and I really like them. I guess the only one that I would consider getting rid of is this purple one called Punk Heart. Again, it's very similar to Smoldering Plum. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm not ready to get rid of it. I like these too much. I'm sorry. I have to keep all of them. All right, let's talk about these color tattoos. I really enjoy these. I use them a lot, um, but there are a few that are starting to get old. This one, you can tell it's kind of like cracking and drying up. This is inked in pink. I've used it quite a bit, but this one's just old and dried up, so it's time to get rid of this one. And this is the shade Tough as Taupe. I think I've only used this once or twice. I'm just not really a fan of this one, which is surprising because I really like this entire line, but I think I'm also going to get rid of Tough as Taupe. We have Bold Gold, Pomegranate Punk, Barely Branded, um, this is Bad to the Bronze, this is Creamy Beige, and this is a limited edition one called Seashore Frosts. I haven't used this a lot, but I really want to. 
So I'm hanging on to these six, but I got rid of two, so not bad. Okay, here is my finished product. I decided to keep 29 of my singles. I know that's a lot, but I did get rid of seven. So I'm pretty happy with that. I freed up some space in my collection and the ones that are still usable, I'll be able to pass on to family or friend or donate. So they'll get more love than they are getting just sitting in my collection. And I'm happy about that. So success. All right, I made it through my single shadows and liners. I'm really happy with my progress so far. I only got rid of 15 items, but I do feel like that's pretty good progress. Anything's better than nothing. I know that I have a lot of makeup and getting rid of 15 items at once probably doesn't seem like that much, but to me, like I said, any progress is good progress, so I'm happy when I move anything out of my collection. Some of these things are old and expired and will go straight to the trash. The other items I will let my friends and family look through and whatever they don't want that is in good condition I like to donate. So if you're wondering what I do with my decluttered items, I pass them to family and friends or I donate them if they're in good condition. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.